Hey guys, it's Alan Yor. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your construction level by eight. It's going to be temporary, but it will allow you to construct furniture and player owned house objects that uh, are otherwise out of your level range. So yeah, just before we get into the guide, if you could please leave a like, subscribe, and also consider joining my Discord channel, uh, Discord server. This is the link right here. If the link ever changes in the future, all you have to do is click um, there's a link in the description, which will bring you to my link tree. And then the very first one at the top is the Discord server. That will always be updated. But yeah, if you could join this uh, Discord, I'd highly appreciate it. Lots of cool people here, even though it is small quality over quantity, as they say. So for the guide today, uh, the gear equipped honestly does not matter at all. Uh, just none of this is relevant. The crystal saw is very important because it's going to give a plus three invisible boost. So right now, my construction is um, 89, even though it doesn't look like it. I also have a hammer, and uh, you'll also need a Wily Hellcat. It has to be Wily. Just look up on the OSRS wiki if you don't know how to get a Wily Hellcat. It's a little bit complicated. But once you have a Wily Hellcat, you're ready to do this. Make sure you have some sort of fish to feed it actually i think raw fish would be better but whatever it, it works it still works so yeah once you have your hellcat and some food to keep it alive because it needs to stay alive if you let this cat die in the activity we're doing it is gone forever and you're gonna have to spend like several hours making a new one so do not let your hellcat die do not go afk during this activity uh, last thing I'll mention for now is uh, the bank. Just make sure you have all the materials for whatever you want to make. So in my case, I want to make a, uh, a marble adventure log and a crystallized teleport nexus. So I have all the supplies ready to go because it is going to be time sensitive. Um, maybe not at the start, but just in general, just, just be prepared to go. So first thing we're going to do is go to Edgeville. So use an Amulet of Glory and get yourself to Edgeville. The only thing that matters right now is the Hellcat and the food. The rest of this stuff is not relevant. All right, we're going to go down the trap door. Now these little rats are a waste of time. These are specifically if your cat is not wily. So if you have a lesser cat, you could try your luck i guess at some of these lower hell rats but i would recommend just getting the wily hellcat because once you have the wily you can guarantee get the exact spice that you need we need orange spice for um construction so that's right here this orange spice so what we're going to do is just walk up to this thing and we're going to drop the cat and we're going to left click the curtain and we're going to just insert the cat and do not accidentally eat your sardines. So all we do here is literally nothing. We just watch our the two pets do battle until one of them wins. And as I said, if this cat dies and goes to zero HP right now, it is gone forever. There is no reclaiming it or nothing. It is gone. So if your cat ever gets low, then all you're going to do is right click use. And you're going to use it on the curtain, not the actual cat itself. Although I'm pretty sure the cat works too, but I just do the curtain. So let's just wait for my cat to get a little bit lower, but I would recommend, again, not going AFK. You do, unfortunately, have to pay attention to this because you cannot afford to let your cat die. So I'm only going to do this once just to show you how to get the spice, but you should stay here until you've used up all of your sardines and your inventory is entirely full with orange spice. All right. So I'm going to use it on the curtain now. If you look at my, my uh, cat's health, it will go up. So I'm pretty sure raw will do better. But yeah, that's how you heal it. So once this rat behemoth is dead, the cat is going to grab the four dose orange spice for us. And it's going to be three doses per stew. So like I said, if you were, I have some, some spices saved up, so I don't need to do it. But at this point, you should click the curtain again and keep doing this until your inventory is full with orange spice. Once your inventory is full of, with orange spice, you're going to go back to your house. And you're going to go to your kitchen. 
and you're going to store it at the spice rack right here and you're going to press all. Now at this point we need to get ready for the actual boosting. Okay, that was just how to get the spices. So now pick up the cat because it is kind of dying or wasting away every second it spends while it's up. So get rid of everything you don't need. Get your supplies that you do need, of course. So we are going to, actually the stews will be better to have it first. All right, so we're going to need stews. And I only, I should have brought more, honestly. Okay, well, let's just bring all eight stews. And then hopefully we have inventory space for this stuff. We do. I'll bring the cat so I remember to deposit it. So this is the setup. And um, you want to be careful not to mess this up because it is kind of rare to get the exact level that you need. So in my case, I actually only need 91, right? 90, 90 would be okay. 91 would be ideal. And I can get 92, but I don't need that. So yeah, actually, I don't even know if I could get 92, but it's okay. So Let's teleport to our house now. And what we're going to do is with all the supplies, first thing I want to mention is that as soon as you get the successful boost level that you need, enable preserve immediately. It will make you last longer. So we're going to take from the spice rack all of the orange ones that we can. And we're just going to sit next to this fountain. Make sure you obviously, uh, I forgot something. I need to put the house into build mode. My, my house is going under renovations right now. Please ignore it. It'll look cooler in the future videos. So we're in build mode right now. So make sure you actually know what you want to do. It's Trust me, this is going to go very quick and you don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to be building this thing right here. So if I just confirm that I have the materials to do that, but not the level. Yeah. And I'm also going to be upgrading this thing right here. All right. My apologies. I thought of one more thing I want to teach you. Okay, before we do the spice. So the spices are for maximum possible boost but they're very RNG dependent and quite frustrating. If you have a lower level that, like let's say you only need six levels total, there's an easier way to do it. So the saw will give you three and there's an easier way to do this. So go ahead and search the larder. So this is this part of the video is only for people that need six plus six or lower. So if you need plus six or lower, then you're gonna take T. You're gonna take a kettle a teapot, and a cup. And then you're going to fill the teapot with water, kettle as well with water, tea leaves in the teapot. No, not that yet. Okay, so full kettle on the, the range. And then you're going to take press to take the kettle. Then you're going to combine these. And you're going to put the pot of tea in the porcelain cup. So when I drink this, this is a guaranteed plus three. Okay. So if you only need plus six or less, then that is the easier way to do it. It's entirely free as well. You can drop this stuff once you're done with it. It's not important. Okay. I'm in build mode, so it won't let me drop it. That's fine. Um, or a little bit inconvenient, actually. So let's go ahead and go outside. And then build mode. Okay. So here's the official guide, guys. Okay. Sorry for if sorry if you feel like I wasted your time, but I was trying to give uh, give you some useful tips. So now for the actual guide itself, we are going to take all of the orange. <clears throat> We're gonna do this. We're gonna go one, two, three, and it won't let you do it a fourth time. Okay, so we can go plus five. So we can go to 91 construction, which is what I need. So basically, I need to sit here at the pool of rejuvenation until I get a stew that gives me 91. Okay, 
And once we get 91, we're going to activate preserve. Actually, I may as well just activate it right now. So go ahead and activate preserve right now. And we're going to hope that we get, it's completely random. So you just need to keep doing stews until you get the construction level that you need. So I, I eat it right there. I get 88. That's not what I want. So I'm just going to drink. You don't. You only have to drink if it's lowered, but I just do it out of habit. So we did not get it that time. So we're going to do another one. Eat. 89. Not what I need. One, two, three. Eat. 91. There it is. Okay. So now that I have 91, I'm going to go ahead and do the 94 first. I'm going to upgrade this. There we go. And I just crafted a 92 construction with only 86. And I'm also going to do the same right here. Now, if it didn't work, then you're just going to panic tablet to uh, Varrock or to Grand Exchange, get whatever you're missing from your bank. Sometimes it's like a spade if you're doing something in the garden. Your preserve will help you out, and then you just go back to the house. And yeah, so I do wish you luck. Obviously, I'm going to deposit my uh, orange spices there. But yeah, I got the 91 construction, and uh, I'm, I'm good to go now. So thanks so much for watching. Good luck with the stew boosting. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. And I will see you next time.